In the previous class we discussed the tools for exploiting the BLE. In this class we are going to discuss how to sniff the BLE packets. Some of the points we will discuss are what are the devices present in the market for sniffing the BLE packets. And the functioning of each device. First, let's discuss the devices for sniffing BLE packets. So there are the most common devices nowadays a security researcher is using, like Ubertooth and NRF51822 called a BLE sniffer. Also, there is one technique using the Android phone where we can capture the incoming and outgoing traffic between the device and mobile phone. Now we will discuss the functionality of each device and technique in detail. Let's start with the Ubertooth. Ubertooth is an open source wireless development platform suitable for Bluetooth experimentation. This tool is developed by Michael Osman. It works on the 2.4 GHz ISM band with a bandwidth of 1 MHz using a modulation scheme of frequency shift keying. It is based on the powerful LPC-175X ARM Cortex-M3 microcontroller with full-speed USB 2.0. Ubertooth is one way to develop custom Class 1 compatible Bluetooth devices. Let's learn how to install the Ubertooth and capture the BLE packet. Go to the Ubertooth Project Home website. It depends on your operating system so choose which one you are using. Next install the Bluetooth baseband library. Now install the Ubertooth tools. Install the Wireshark.
last install some Bluetooth plugins. Now plug the Ubertooth with your laptop and type Ubertooth BTLE. So it's successfully installed. Now capture the BLE packets of your target device or in our case it is medical fitness band. We will capture that device's packets only. Just type Ubertooth BTLE FD and target device address C stand for capturing the packets. So now Ubertooth started capturing the packets so at this moment you have to connect your Android phone and perform a lot of activities for capturing the packets and all. Just spend some time and capture all the events. Now when it's done you just scroll and check all this functionality like which type of event you have performed. So we got the scan request packets and after that scan response packets. There are also some advertisement packets as well. Now open this file into the Wireshark for better understanding. Broadcast is here Wi-Fi packets. Just look into the BLE capture packets. So you can capture more packets using the Ubertooth. So now we will discuss another way for capturing the BLE packets. That is called the Bluetooth Snoop Log technique. For this, you should have the Android version 4.4 onwards, because Android version 4.4 has an option to record all the Bluetooth packets going in and out from the device. To enable capture of Bluetooth, go to the mobile settings and enable the developer option. Go to the developer option and enable Bluetooth HCI Snoop Log. So now run your device mobile app and send some commands. In the case of the fitness band, you can search the device location. Set the alarm and perform a lot of operations. So now, go to the SD card Android data BT Snoop HCI. In the case of the fitness band, you can search the device location. Set the alarm and perform a lot of operations. So now, go to the SD card Android data BT Snoop HCI. Log. You'll get your log file. In some cases the location is different so you have to search. I am telling you the log file ideal location. The log file is similar to the PSAP file. You can see the packets. But in this case, you'll not get any broadcast packets, only specific to your device packets. So now we will discuss the last way for capturing the BLE packets using the NRF 51822, called the BLE Sniffer. Let's first discuss what is the BLE Sniffer. NRF Sniffer is a low-cost Bluetooth low-energy packet sniffer. An NRF Sniffer is a tool for debugging Bluetooth low-energy applications by detecting packets between a selected device and the device it is communicating with even when the link is encrypted. It cannot work with the classic Bluetooth. It can capture only low-energy BLE devices packets. So just go to the Blackroot GitHub repository and download the NRF 51822 BLE Sniffer folder from there. Install the BLE Sniffer. X then you can start capturing the packets. Please look into it yourself. If you are facing any problems, please post into the comment box. So in this class we discussed a lot of ways how we can capture the BLE packets. So you can use any one. 
Either you can purchase the NRF 51822 or Ubertooth. But capturing the packets using the Snoop logs usually takes a lot of time. So, next class we will learn how to analyze all these captured packets. Thanks for joining me, this is Vivav Bedi from the Haken 9.